So at this gathering of the climate change faithful, let's think about why most people choose to ignore or even oppose limits uh, to efforts to limit climate change. It's really not hard to understand. We humans are generally terrible at imagining things that we've never experienced personally. All of recorded history has transpired in a period of exceptionally stable climate. So we should expect skepticism about a looming catastrophic change. It's even harder to accept that our own lifelong daily habits are responsible for this catastrophe. We are also very bad at reacting to events that play out over decades or centuries. Astronomers, however, study the reaches of space and time far beyond human experience. For us, a century of climate change is just a blink of the cosmic eye. Homo sapiens evolved to thrive in just the last 0.001% of Earth's history. And at many earlier epochs, Earth has been cold enough or warm enough to snuff out our current civilization. The laws of physics have no regard for human comfort. As we speak, some planets in the Milky Way are being turned to cinders as their suns go through violent death spasms. Nature has no plan to restore ecosystems to our liking. The jellyfish will gladly take over the oceans. Maintaining the earth that human civilization needs is a task that falls solely upon human civilization. But because of our inherent inertia and distaste for the results of climate modeling, we are performing the most insane science experiment ever devised. We will double or triple the carbon dioxide content of our atmosphere and see how bad it gets. Well, maybe if it turns out poorly, we could just move to Mars. I guarantee if you don't like climate change, you will hate Mars. Okay. We are fully capable of halting this irresponsible experiment. Three actions will do the job. Switch electricity generation from coal and gas to renewables, electrify our transportation system, and insulate our buildings better. We can act or we can pretend the problem doesn't exist. This is civilization's choice. But remember this, you can stick your head in the sand, but your ass will still get burned. <laughs>